Okay, I'm gonna go in one take because I'm bad at editing. But here is the van. Paint job's pretty good. It's got a couple of nicks here or there, but as you can tell, it's shiny and gorgeous and big, very big. First off, roof rack. This is a cool little deck. You can tie stuff to, you can sit on, you can lounge. It's great. It's also maintenance free because it's made out of timber tech boards, so you never have to worry about it. Passenger side. These cushions here um, are not necessary, but the seat has started to show some wear, so I put them down just to protect it. Um, they're just tied in, so you can easily untie them as needed if you don't want them, but um, this whole area has been repainted, cleaned, real nice and pretty. The doors have these custom mahogany panels with brand new speakers. And this is uh, some recycled fabric that I used to line the uh, original vinyl because it had some cracks in it. So that's all clean and new. Um, these curtains are on this track. You'll see it curves all the way around to there. And it comes back all the way through the front. And that way you can just easily unsnap them. And then your curtains go into place. Like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, try. Uh, that is one of the vintage lights that I rebuilt. It's out of an old truck. Ooh, so pretty. So pretty. Um, inside, I've got transition which turned out pretty neat solid oak floors very nice wonderful um, opening it up fully through the back side door there you go you got your kitchen this is on a pop-up hinge which is pretty cool this right here is your light switch for the LEDs. And this guy comes out, it's on a little snap magnet, but it comes out for your cutting board. Um, the stove is brand new. It's a two burner. You can use it from the inside or the outside because, well, you know, vans are short. It's hard to cook inside unless it's raining. All right. The cabinets have these little locks, there's child locks, so it's all hidden and magnetic, and that means when you drive around the corner, it won't fly open. Uh, this cooler I got goes from ambient temp to cold in about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Um, it also has this little indicator here, which tells you how high your battery is charged. So you can see right now the battery's not quite full. Uh, I haven't driven the van in a while. So as soon as you start to drive, you'll see that tick right up. So this is your battery charge indicator. Um, the countertops are all maple and custom cut and gorgeous. This little magnet here holds up the sink, which is neat. And the faucet works with this little pump here Turn it on, done. Uh, it's self-priming pump, so you can't ever burn it out by not having enough water in your tank, which is great. Um, coming in here, you'll see two storage tanks. Um, pardon, I had a neighbor coming by. Uh, here are two storage tanks. Uh, we've got fresh water, literally just fill it up, stick this back in and turn the pump on and it self-primes, it's awesome. Gray water. Just empty it every once in a while, you know. Don't want to go too full, too fast. All right, last cabinet, another child lock. This one is the cook cabinet. It is big and wood and awesome. Features pull-out drawers and all soft clothes hardware. It's also got this vintage pull-out, hanging stuff. Spices, all soft. Ooh, so nice. 
Okay. Um, let's see. We've got this cabinet right here, which causes all the gas. Gas cabinet, that's your regulator. Uh, I use the LP gas tanks that you can get at pretty much any home good or, you know, outdoor gear supply. They're the one pounders. Um, easy, easy. Plug it in, turn it on, you're good to go. There's that stove. These little guys are pretty neat. Um, they are twist on. And there's one on either side of the bed for reading lamp action. Um, this right here is the battery box. Uh, don't need to get in there ever. The whole system should be maintenance free, uh, but I'm happy to explain it to you very thoroughly so there's no questions. Um, right now the bed is in bed mode and not office mode. Um, I can definitely show you how to go into office mode. Uh, it just takes pulling some poles out and sticking them in the tabletops. But those are the tables. Let me see. Okay. What else do we got? Uh, oh, these guys right here on the sides open up to reveal more storage. Perfect for pillows, linens, clothes, whatever you need. Uh, we're going to move these cushions over. Underneath the bed is more storage. There's one under there. There's this guy, which is all of the electrical stuff. Again, happy to go over all of it. Um, it's very simple overall. This is a, a new outlet with an inverter attached so you can plug in your laptop and charge it. You can do USB, whatever you need. There's also 12 volt right there. So if you need to put in a socket of any kind or if you wanna plug in the solar panel, it's on this side. Um, so that's your little electricity area cool all right what else we got um back doors also the same as the front with the matching paneling curtains uh another light if you need to go from the back um this side is just like the other with lots and lots of storage underneath there and that's where i've got the uh poles stored right now for bed mode um but, yeah, um, oh, there's a fan, there's a fan. This thing goes in and out, so it's an exhaust or a cooling fan, depending on what you need. Um, yeah, I don't know, uh, I'm sure there's more stuff. Feel free to ask questions, ask for more videos. Um, it's a really pretty van. Runs real good. Mechanic says he loved it. I love it. But I, alas, have more projects to build, so this one must go. All right. Thank you.